the technology um, changed a lot because the market changed a lot. Now the technologies get more known to more people and the prices drop down. For some years now we can go to produce real components. We haven't done that before, but of course in taking new markets we have to change our workflows because in prototyping it's all about speed, the speed to deliver the prototype. In manufacturing that's different, it's all about quality for lowest possible costs. Our customer base is very broad, so we get different 3D data from different systems, whatever. So the first step always for us is to normalize the data. That's what we do with our desk software on one hand. The second thing is we have to change the design and adapt it to our technology. So we have to do uh, sometimes quite tricky software manipulations where we use Autodesk software. And, especially for industrial manufacturing, it's very important for us that our machines run with highest efficiency. So we use the software to get things done very efficient. If we uh, compare experienced users of the software with more or less unexperienced users, and there, of course, the difference is dramatically. So, for sure, the software helps a lot. Going more and more into, into the industrial manufacturing of components instead of prototypes, our customers want to have finished parts. So the complete process chain, the complete workflow, is something we have to supply. So we need a lot of different softwares and we have to connect these softwares together. And uh, that's a big advantage to use Autodesk software because we can use that software in all the different steps and the communication in between different software packages. So we can save a lot of time and we don't produce data twice or three times. The real advantage is really how the manual workflows then can be optimized. I think a good example is if you think on support structure. That's something you need to, to design for, for, for metal parts. And afterwards, after you build it on the AM machines, you have to remove it. In special the last month, we did a lot of improvements with, uh, with the NetFab guys. So that helped us to reduce and, and the removal time from two hours down to five minutes. And that's of course a very, very significant cost savings. So we can lower our prices, get more customer, grow our business. We measure the time we need to do the different steps of the workflow. And of course, a lot of parts we produce are very, very different. We cannot uh, combine these things on a single base. So we do statistical measurements. Still, our technology is brand new for using uh, in industrial applications. So uh, our scrap rate is still significant. And uh, so uh, measuring the scrap rate is a very important thing for us. The very difficult thing on what we do is that we do quite unique parts. We don't have a long run series. So we need to track all the data or statistical things. A very significant thing, if we want to improve the market and industrialize additive manufacturing, we need more and more people using powerful software for the future. So from that, we are happy in using Autodesk software.